Hey guys, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're just gonna, you know, jump right into this video. I know it's been a long time since I put a video up, so here we go. <laughs> it's really been a long time since I put a video up, so kind of get back into the routine. Start off with my coffee, always. Coffee is important and it tastes so good. Hey Max, sit down. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. moisturizer and blend that or moisturize my face and put that all over the face and rub it in. So we're. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Daily Mineral Infused Primer and put that onto my cheeks, forehead, and chin and just rub it into the areas where I tend to get a little bit oily or um, where I need the foundation to stay longer. I recently got the Morphe um, Setting Spray and I absolutely love it. It is a mist which is so nice and it's so like less straining on my fingers so I have to keep pumping a setting spray and it smells so good absolutely well, it smells like flowers or not flowers it smells like something really good I don't know what but I highly highly recommend this bottle for found or for um, eye primer I'm just gonna use my Maybelline fit me concealer and use that to set my primer or use it to be my primer and I'll take my damp beauty sponge and just blend it through then I'm going to take the ABH subculture palette and pick up the shade dawn I believe it's called and use that to set the primer all over my eyelids that way the shadow stays in place and nothing moves around on us colors pop everything's good throughout the day because I hate when my eyeshadow fades you know you know then I'm going to take the shade in the ABH Subculture Palette. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a pinky shade. And use that as my transition color. This color is the first time I've used this, and it's really nice as a transition color. I thought it would be a little bit too pink um, for what I was going for that day, but it turned out to be an excellent transition color for me. Then going into this shade in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I really didn't point at it, but it's I think it's called Pukey, I believe, in the palette, and I'm going to use that um, and blend it into my crease. This palette is used every single day of my entire life. <laughs> um, I still love this palette till this day. It's awesome. It's great, and it's amazing. What more can I say? You guys already know the deal when it comes to this channel, but you just blend it into the crease, make sure everything's nice and Flowy. Next, I'm going to pick up this maroon purplish shade in the palette and then blend that also into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit and on the outer edges of my eye. Um, really keep it out there and then as little to no product is left on the brush, I bring it into the crease to just really define it and deepen it up a little bit more. Make sure everything is nice and blended, blended, blended. Going in with the shade All Star in the ABH Subculture Palette, and using an R39 brush just to deepen up the outer corner. Not really taking it into the crease yet, but really just focusing it on the outer V of my eye and about halfway on the lid. Um, I just want to keep this look really simple, really like, I don't know the word elsewhere I'm trying to use besides simple, but just really trying to keep it nice and blended. Then jumping into the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette, picking up the light shade in there and packing that on a Urban Decay brush, the flatter side of it, and just, oh, that's a nice color, and just packing it on there. I know, surprise, surprise, we're not putting a glitter on the lid today on my channel, but I thought a matte 
eye look would be really nice and just super easy to create an everyday kind of look especially during this fall time and it's just so simple and so pretty just very easy very easy look to do then just going in and blending out the crease making sure there's no harsh lines and everything flows seamlessly this brush the r39 brush is my absolute fave right now oh that's not r39 that one and the other blending brush i was using i don't know what it's named <laughs> but i already did my eyebrows and put on some wing liner next for foundation i'm going to use the l'oreal true match um, foundation and i have been loving this foundation with a brush this is also a morphe brush i don't know the number of it but it will be put in the description box below but i just love putting foundation on with the brush and then right after that going in with the beauty blender just to make sure there's no like streaks. For concealer, I go right into the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer in the shade 20 which is sand and I just use that to highlight underneath the eyes to cover up these dark circles because we all have them and I just need more sleep but there's not enough time in the day I know there's people out there that understand the feeling but I just use that to conceal my face the middle of my nose top of my forehead chin and in the side of my cheeks just to brighten it up a little bit set the under eyes no doubt I'm going with my Ulta pressed powder in the shade banana it's literally all I use for the under eyes now because I hit pan on it I'm gonna need to buy another one it's pretty sad when you hit pan on your favorite product but I've been loving still loving this product and it just brightens up the under eyes which is amazing for face I still love the covergirl loose powder I'm in the shade 115 and that's a lot of powder girl but I just um, powder my face, make sure that the foundation stays and we don't look like an oily, greasy mess. For bronzer, surprise, surprise, not really, but I freaking hit pan on this hardest day. And I just um, use that to bronze my face, the temples, the forehead, and my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going into the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette and pick up the gold shade in there and I love this highlight. It's so good. I frequently go back between this and the Casey Holmes Spotlight palette. I think they're both incredible palettes and they both give me the highlight that I want for the day. They both give me like subtle highlights or if I want an intense blinding bam in your face kind of highlight for the day or for the night but this color is everything. Everything. For lips, I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I believe this is in, I don't know actually. I will leave it down in the description box below. It came in a little set from Ulta of three. I think it's Dubai, uh, Dub I think it is. I'll leave it down in the description box below, but this is a great nude color. Awesome. For the under eyes, I'm going back into the Subculture palette, picking up that pink shade that we used for the transition color and blending that underneath the lower lash line just so that we, you know, have the whole eye look complete and it's not missing something. Um, I really like just the subtle pink underneath the eye. I really felt like it didn't need the purples or the other colors from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I felt like the pink really just was a soft touch to it. Then for mascara, because I almost freaking forgot, I'm going in with my Rimmel Scandalize Mascara and just plumping up the eyelashes, making sure they are nice and feathered out and coated with mascara about a thousand times. I love this mascara. Then to set it, I'm going in with the Morphe Setting Spray because I am absolutely in love with it and you really need to get this setting spray in your collection. Use it every day. Use it once a day. Use it two times a week. 
I don't care, but it's a great setting spray and I highly, highly recommend it. But that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys like it. I am back. It's been difficult, but I am back. See you next video. Bye.